Welcome back to part 6 of my Amir Sodan game. Uh, in the previous part we were raising our heir, who has recently become an adult. Uh, he ended up being pretty good. He's set to inherit everything right now due to harmonious succession, so I might kind of look to move on to him kind of soon here. Our character is not that old, um, but he is flagellant. We could probably stress him out pretty easily. Uh, it's not something I need to do right away, but just maybe something that I might move on to soon. I'm probably going to look to expand a little bit. I would love to get Sicily, of course, but with Italy being so broken apart, uh, I might just go for Spoleto next. Uh, the thing is, I'm a little bit weary of declaring a holy war. Yeah, this guy joins. I can't do anything. Well, I mean, technically we do have these allies, but who knows how much they'll actually help. Uh, plus the Pope's right next door, and I have to think that if I declare a holy war, he's likely to join it. Drunk, obese Pope <laughs> with lover's pox. Interesting. Okay. Uh, and I think that making any of these duchy titles also will most likely cause my succession to change. Neither of my brothers have a wife yet, or kids, so we might be getting more land back anyway. Uh, I was thinking about finding a wife for my son. So my sister is now going to marry the king of Egypt. Yeah, let's find a wife for him. Uh, so she's a princess of Africa. I don't particularly want an alliance with them, though. She's also a little bit on the older side. Who are you? Oh. That's not very big at all. Um, I'm not sure what I'm looking for here. Someone close in age? Do we really need... Okay, let's just go not lowborn. Is there any inheritable traits? Yeah, kind of. Um, I mean, like, we have Albino, which could pass on. She's got Quick, which is always good. Decent stewardship. Uh, this is a nice looking character, too, here. Robust and pretty good stats. Uh, unfortunately, she's going into Intrigue, although all of her stats should be pretty good then. Uh, what do I want more? Yeah, let's go for this. Sure, why not? This robust girl, they'll get married within a year or so. Uh, well, this guy is busy, kind of. Maybe we can do this. Uh, we need to get Illustrious to do Conquer Duchy, though, because we can't Holy War him. Making the titles would be good for that. Getting some prestige. There's Prince Sinbad. I don't think there's anyone. Or maybe we can. We can always just check to see if there's anyone that we can host a funeral for. It seems to be really worth it for the rewards. Uh, she might not switch. Nope. Oh, can I actually just arrest her? No, she's not going to do it. That's kind of annoying. Uh, whatever, we'll get her eventually. She is, uh, zealous. Zaid. Hopefully they get along and have some kids anyway. Sadistic, hunchbacked. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay, so he's become a knight. Um, it's not the worst thing, I guess. We do have one son who managed to not get any traits, so... If I have to play him, I'm not going to be disappointed, but this guy's decent enough that even though he's albino, like, I don't really care that much. It's not that bad. I think I'll just play him, most likely. I really just don't know where to expand. Um, I guess we could, like, just dip our toe in here <laughs> and see how this goes. Uh, since it's a conquer county, we can do it right now. Uh, I'm not going to push my luck with a Holy War here, I don't think. It's just too risky. Yeah, let's just go for this. 
He doesn't actually have any allies, though he is decently powerful in his own right. I think I'll just call my brother-in-law in. Uh, it'll be a little bit expensive. This guy's got zero troops. Uh, you guys are kind of far. Yeah, whatever. If Egypt actually comes and helps, this will be fine. And if not, I think we can still probably take him. The, ar the army is actually very even to ours. Almost identical. I think he'll come. He's not in a war. Yeah, there he is. Shouldn't take him too long either. Okay, so he might just run straight into me. Yeah, he will. Um, okay, let's have a look at his military. Wow, that's a lot. He's got 1,000 armored footmen. Why, why do you have so many armored footmen? So armored footmen are counted by light footmen, I believe. It's not something I build very often. Yeah, they counter heavy infantry. So if we can hire some mercenaries. Uh, of course there's no light footmen mercenaries. <laughs> why, why wouldn't there be? Uh, you have some here, but they're going to be too expensive for me. Oh, they're not, but that's going to be a lot of debt, though. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to get away in time. I could just try to do this. Uh, either way, I think we'll be okay long term. We just, okay, we barely got away. Oh, we just need to wait for Egypt to get here. That's a little bit scary. Where are you at? There he is. Okay, we should be fine now. What's this? Oh. Flagellate? I think I'll start doing this on cooldown. Either it will wound me, or it will make my uh, court physician better at his job. <laughs> I guess I could do this. It doesn't cost much more. 8% uh, more lifestyle experience for 0.2 gold. It's not too bad. So I'm almost done with Diplomat, and then I'm going to probably go into learning for a little bit. Damn, there's a lot of these events. This is for my tax collector. 155 gold to give him a buff? That's wild. That's way too expensive. I'm okay eating stress right now anyways, since if my character dies, I'm just inheriting everything on my heir anyways, so it's really not a big deal. Anyways. So where's his army? There it is. What are you? Al Sark wants his heir to marry my hunchback daughter. If you weren't in a bunch of wars, that I might be more inclined to do that. Okay, so someone did join. Only 400 troops, it says. One more. And then let's go and fight him. You're going to come help me, right? And here she is on my capital. Our first item, actually. Stay there. Um, yeah, I don't really feel like spending gold to get prolific. Even though I do like it as a stress management mechanic, I, I think I just keep getting wounded. Uh, I guess I guess go stand here. It's going to take a while to siege these down. They got high four level four. Yeah, let's just go over there and see what's what. She 
actually adopted Sicilian. Good. Died on my carpet. Are you kidding me? Okay, so I think I'm probably just going to siege this until this ticks up into my favor. It'll probably happen before I finish sieging. I think he's just going to walk around here and try to come siege me again, but who knows. Alright, looking pretty good though. We've converted everything. The control level's high. We have control of our culture. Uh, yeah, I don't think I need to raise development anywhere yet. I'm most likely going to switch my capital to Sicily whenever I get it, so... Just wait for that. Okay. Well, at least we can get uh, one county without much difficulty. Um, if he's not inheriting land naturally... Oh, he is now that we have one more county. I was going to say, we can make him ambitious. Uh, I don't particularly want him to do any of these things. If he's paranoid, he's pretty likely to just die quite easily from stress. And the rest of these are going to make him kind of antagonistic, I guess. Uh, maybe I just do make him paranoid. Sure. I, I don't mind taking the stress either, so... Let's uh, make sure we're doing this on cooldown. Um, I guess we can just make the Duchy of Benevento title and give it to one of these guys. Give it to the one that's not our rival. Let's just see what it looks like when we make the title. Okay, so now he's just going to get that duchy title instead of the county. Uh, let's do this, though. Duchy of Benevento. So now this guy's not even our vassal anymore. He's our brother's vassal. Capua, Salerno. Yeah, I, I actually don't mind him at all getting that uh, one county there. How's it going here? You have grown yourself a beard, but no kid yet. Okay. My sister died. Oh no. That's the one that was married here. She was murdered, actually. Murdered at 19. Damn. So there goes our alliance there. I think that we do have a daughter. <laughs> swap it out. Swap it out. There we go. Our alliance lives on now. Don't know how I'm ever going to get this land away from the Byzantines. Um, I guess we just wait for them to be kind of weak. And then try to be a little bit opportunistic. Once in a blue moon, the Byzantine Empire does actually break up, but it seems to be very rare. I wouldn't mind getting Sardinia either. They're actually not very strong, but I just don't know. Can I? Oh, wow, that would be nice. Give it to one of my sons, conquer duchy. Yeah, I kind of just need some uh, prestige here, which makes me want to build these. Let's have a look here. My uncle, my aunt, my sister. Sure. Do I need to pay for more? No, let's just do the normal one. I'm not really trying to drop too much stress anyway. How's this going here? We can go for royal prerogative right away. Mustering grounds. Uh, I wouldn't mind having this, honestly. Let's just finish this off. My wife and I are rivals. Why can you not raise... This is so weird. Where's my kid? This has got to be a bug. Yeah, like, she can do it really odd. Okay. Looks like he's getting attacked from both sides. Oh, Tuscany took that. Okay. 
Uh, well, now we're not bordering the guy that we have a uh, a truce with anymore, so we could declare war again. Looks like he's got 1900, so again, very, very even. 2145. Okay, a little bit scary without uh, our ally. We certainly don't have to rush it. Um, yeah, I don't think we get much prestige from this event, but it, it gives a lot of benefits anyway, and I'm sure that we can use the legitimacy. So there's Diplomat, which is nice to have. Uh, I think I get out of this lifestyle now. We don't really need the fertility so much anymore. Uh, we can go get Restraint, Know Thyself, Scientific. Uh, do I need the piety for anything? Do I need a health boost? Not really. Let's just go scholarship. So do we want to stress ourselves out? I guess it's completely fine. Yeah, might as well. That's interesting. It gives you an out just from having a lot of diplomacy. Oh, <laughs> we could be rude to him. Blue stress because we're sadistic. Yeah, let's just take the stats. Can you help us hold that? 7 out of 6 still. 16. Yeah, just not quite. Guess we keep flagellating. Damn. I could fire him, but I, like, I don't need to kill my character this badly that I want to do it like that. I guess I'll just keep holding court, though. One thirty for the survey. I'm not sure it's worth it, but okay. Uh, Sicilian and Greek. Do we want prestige at the cost of cultural acceptance? I don't think we have much with Greek. Oh, it's 69%. There you go. That seems high, doesn't it? We can reduce it by quite a bit anyways. Um, just take some extra prestige, I guess. Is this still Greek here? It is, yeah. Mountain homes. Okay. Let's go for the too late for caution. Greatly reduced. Okay, so that was a success. This guy looks so old, but it's just because he's albino. I do not know how to make them have children. Well, I guess make giving them a piece of land would be the most sensible way to do that. Uh, impatient, shy, or gluttonous. Yeah, okay. I guess I could have just switched for the sake of stress, but why don't we give him and his wife a little piece of land here, I guess. Um, Salerno? It'll put us back under our limit. There we go. I don't think it changes anything here. So he still just gets that one off in the corner. It's totally cool. They'll be more inclined to have kids now that they're... now that he's a landed character. 5% vassal tax for 30 years. I'm not sure that's gonna pay itself off, but okay. That just looks funny to me. Yep, 
Yeah, I really just need him to have kids. Um, good thing we have the backups anyway. The harmonious succession really makes things a lot e a lot more useful. It it feels like even better than high um, high partition, which you don't get until quite late in the game. You can get yourself up to harmonious on your first character every single time playing as Islam. Definitely pretty nice. Yeah, let's become friends. I don't want him to kill me. He's a pretty evil dude. Do I take the gold? No. There we go. Got our prestige up. So now... Oh, he looks really weak too. So he gains that. Sure. Congrats, buddy. So he's about to lose the war. It's not quite over, but he's he's very weak. Um, so this seems very opportunistic. Time costs us some piety. That's fine. I don't think this war should be too difficult. So let's just go and win it. We will get our friend, the king of Egypt, over here. Oh, he's got... Oh. Oh, there he goes. Uh, as long as they're not in a war, though, he'll still come help. So now, <laughs> he died days ago, and his one of his wives is trying to seduce me. <laughs> I, I don't know that I need to do that, though. Flattering, thank you. I think I'll just... Yeah, he's still coming over here. He might, he might get a faction, though. He might not stick around. He's only eight years old. They're pretty likely to revolt against him. What are the two of you doing? Do we pay for the armor? Hmm. It's probably junk. Solomonid? You can go and find where they are, but this is... I, I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm just going to say no. I, I feel like usually when they offer you armor, like 9 times out of 10, it's a gray armor. You think you can make demands? Tell me or else. You murdered my sister? You? Why? Why would you do that? Uh, is there anything that I need to take from him? Not really. Damn. Accuse of decadence. This is the negative one. Ooh, it gives him 120 stress. I didn't know it was that bad. Piety, stress gain, house opinion. Interesting. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do it, because I, I do want to keep the succession on harmonious. Interesting, though. Why would he do that? I have no idea. Isn't that his niece? Uh, yeah, I guess we take the stress. See what happens. Okay, so what's the highest priority here? Uh, we, m we might die before we even get to know thyself. We're raising our other two sons, but I'm not planning on playing them, so I don't care too much. We, I mean, open-minded's always nice. It's not a really pressing issue. I can go scientific, but then what? i probably just convince myself that I want to be coming down here anyways. Yeah, I think I'll just do this. Who knows, maybe we'll get there in time. Our health is poor. Okay, it's fine, but when it's... It's poor once we're in stress level 2. So we might not be around for too much longer. Uh, we can take stress to make him diligent. He might become a decent spy master for us. Neither of these affect his um, intrigue, though. I think just for the stress, I'll make him diligent. He's actually pretty decent. I haven't even seen this guy's army yet. Oh, he's a literal child. Uh, so we do the same thing again. He's not going to get any land, as things stand right now. Oh, he might after we take this, though, actually. Oh, whatever. We can always um, just give him, like, a duchy over here. Like, it's it's fine if they get a little bit more land. I can actually just give this land away, too, since I'm 
probably going to move my capital over here. Egypt, helping me a lot. You love to see it. Oh, there's their army. Okay, yeah, you go and handle that, and I'll, I'll, I'll do this. Good job. Uh, I think I'll just swim over to his capital after this. It should be ticking in our favor once we get everything. Three, two, one. Oh, we got something. Hello. Couple learning. Yeah, let's just go. He might send his army back over here, but whatever. Yeah, there we go. It's starting to take in our favor anyway. How's this going? Still no kids. You've become a forder. Okay. Do we want the cat? Why can I give it to this random mayor instead of, like, my son or someone like that? Uh, the cat gives events that can boost your health. That's why I'm kind of considering not doing it. No, we have to take the cat. Let's go. Shadow? Yeah, let's name him Shadow. Sure. Do we pet him? Yeah, we have plenty of stress. So his army looks like it's going back home. Oh, here he is. Yeah, he's in another war here. Someone else's claim on the kingdom. He's going to call me in, probably. I think I'll just decline it. If you lose your level of fame that you require for the war that you're currently in, does it end the war? I've never been in that situation before, and I have no idea. Uh, I don't want to lose my level of fame, and then it, it affects the war. I don't think it would work that way, but it, it's possible. Um, why can't I see them? Oh, here we go. Okay, so that's actually very close by this one. Basilius Constantinos's boils. I think I'm going to isolate and maybe even enter seclusion too. It's not super serious. Better safe than sorry. Is he going to get that before me? I hope not. Let's just do this. I think we'll probably... Perfect. Okay, so we get this guy as a vassal. We'll be able to take it from him eventually. He has title. Are you kidding me, man? I guess we could just take the tyranny. Yeah, let's just do it right away. Um, I'm not going to revoke him right away, but we'll at least get rid of his uh, immune to title revocation. How... Good is this guy. Excellent. Unbelievably uh, experienced court physician that we have here. Um, but at least we were able to take over most, well, not all, except for the stuff that the Byzantine Emperor has of our home kingdom. Hopefully revoke from here eventually and use it as our capital. Shouldn't affect our inheritance since we didn't actually get any land personally. I am going to be continuing this on in the next part, though. Thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.